Hi there, Mr. Potato. <laughs> I'm so California. <laughs> All right, here it is, guys. Earth Fair, like literally, we like, live here every single day. Don't you feel California-like when you go to Earth Fair because you feel like you're being healthy? healthy? And a little bit like Mr. Potato Head. <laughs> She's on TV, she doesn't know it. <laughs> I just bought water. This is the good water. That's $9 water. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah. Fruit. Necessity, raspberries, lots of raspberries, and blueberries. Oh, mushrooms. We need mushrooms. Those are the, Those um, are the burger ones that yeah, you got you can, that the kids didn't. Yeah, well, it's because we didn't make them right though. Uh, like you can make them so good. We should try that. You're actually supposed to like marinate. All right, do that. Should I get them to marinate? It's marinating. These Brussels sprouts. Oh, look at these are huge. Those look good. Hey, How are you? I'm not allowed to film in the store. You have to get approval through corporate. Uh, I know you shop here all the time. Yeah. But but to do any kind of filming for personal use or anything has to be approved through the corporate. Is anyone here? Where's corporate? Talk to him right now? Store manager is here, but that has to be, you know go with so that's a process. It's not something that you're just gonna okay like right. that. Yeah. See, I wish people would put my business out in the public for free all the time. Yeah. I would like well, I understand. bless that. Ways of thinking. All right, we'll say goodbye, babe. Right, we, got, we, we got some right. we got some good stuff. <laughs> yeah. Some mushrooms and fruit. <laughs> oh babe. Reos. Arabita. Fra nice. Diablo sauce. Spicy. We need that. Like I need to tell a story about that. Like if you guys don't know that restaurant, it's like booked restaurant. in New York for like years and that sauce is like the best. These tasty bites are, you can make them in one minute and they're so good. Tasty um, bites. Mushroom masala is amazing. Madras lentils. Ooh, look at this one, Brian. Pad Thai. You got that one before. Yeah, we didn't try that one yet. So we don't need it then. <laughs> <laughs> so this is what I'm gonna be making in my next cooking video. I'm gonna do a healthy lo mein extra waki. Guys, would you look at this? Healthy bears. What are you getting? I'm gonna try some vegan cheese. Milk alternatives? There's no way that could be good. Provolone style slices. Let's try it out. Healthy wines too. This place is amazing. Ugh. All right, man, all right, I'm leaving, all right. Jeez. Hey guys, welcome to today's video. So I have a little grocery store haul for you today. So Brian and I were planning to go film at Earth Fair, which is just a grocery store that's pretty much just like Whole Foods. But we kind of got asked to not film there. I, we had to go through like corporate or something to be able to film. So that didn't really work out. But I do have like a big grocery store haul here that I wanted to share with you guys. It's all food that you know, I cook for my family, my kids eat, Brian eats, so I'm just gonna share that with you guys today. A lot of it, you know, most of it is all vegetarian or vegan. So if you wanna stick around and see what I bought and what I plan on cooking, and then just keep on watching. All right, so here we have, this is that sprouted rye bread. This is just like that Ezekiel bread that I told you guys. I love, love, love the sprouted rye. This is just the sprouted whole grains, so it's good for your blood sugar levels. It's not gonna spike up your blood sugar levels. It keeps everything stable. This kind of bread is so healthy. This is a good for you carb. You need these type of carbs and I love this bread I make this and use this type of bread all the time I also got some everything bagels because Brian and my son Orion are obsessed with these These are honestly like some of the best bagels like they taste like like better than like New York bagels These are so good. I also got a bunch of quinoa pasta So when we make pasta, this is the pasta that we use these are just the like little spirals and then the penne, but these type of pastas, I think it's just pretty much, yeah, it's just um, organic corn flour and organic quinoa. So 
it's just like really healthy for you pasta you know extra protein all that good stuff so we do eat you know my kids especially love pasta so I always have this on hand and then I did get another box of the quinoa too this is what I use I use this in so many recipes just like the recipe that I showed you guys this is the quinoa that I use I also got oh I just wanted to try some egg rolls vegetable egg rolls I got my son fish sticks because he is obsessed with fish sticks and I feel like it's healthier than like chicken nuggets or something so these are just some organic gluten-free fish sticks I also got a ton of this organic brown basmati rice these are just so easy to throw in the microwave and I just put these with so many different meals they're just such a good staple especially if you are like vegetarian or vegan I eat rice all the time so I always have this on hand then I did stock up on some more black beans and some more lentils and I did get a pizza crust I want to try out like kind of like a really healthy pizza just like Something just like sauce and just like covered with vegetables. No cheese, I'm thinking, but I wanna try that out and just like bake it. And I think that'll be really good. And I think my kids will like that too. So I picked up that. And then this is just the pizza sauce that I got to go with it. I think it just was like next to it. So I picked up this pizza sauce. And I am trying some vegan cheese, which I have not tried before. I'm a little bit scared. Brian is a lot scared, but I'm trying some of this. It's that Daya brand. Because people keep leaving me messages saying that this stuff is pretty good. So I'm going to try it. I just got some provolone style cheese and just some shredded cheese for when I make those like quinoa tacos and stuff like that. I figured I would try it, but I don't know. I am a little scared, but hopefully it's pretty good. I got some Pam cooking spray. This is that Simply Coconut Oil one. So it's just a little bit better for you. I got a big old onion and some green peppers because these two I cook with in so much Onion and green pepper, I throw in everything. So more of those. I picked up some of these. Have you guys seen these? They're Tasty Bite, they're called. They're like these little pouches, microwavable pouch, but they're all vegetarian and like they just have different flavors. Like this is vegetable korma, which is fresh vegetables and a zesty coconut sauce. It's pretty much just tastes like vegetables and a curry sauce. Really good. So these I take, like I eat these for lunch a lot. I will throw them over rice and they're amazing. They're just all different ones, and this one is just like a mushroom masala, which is, I had this one before, it's so good. So seriously, like you can put these over pasta, you can put these over rice, and it just makes such a quick, like easy lunch or dinner. This one is the Madre's lentils, ugh, yum. So I picked up some breakfast things for my kids, like when they are, they only have a little bit of time left in school this year, but like breakfast time is just always such a rush, you know, in the morning getting ready for school. So I picked them up some vegan blueberry uh, waffles. This is that Kashi brand. These are actually really good. And then Sue, my friend told me about these. She said they were vegan, but Sue, they are not vegan, but they are a healthy pancake. It's a sweet potato pancake. So they look really good. The ingredients are like really good. There's not many ingredients to it, but they do have like milk in them. So they are not vegan Sue, but I am gonna try these. They look really good. So. Try these out, my kids will probably like that. And then these we live on too. These are so good, you have to try these. These are the Thai Kitchen Brown Rice Noodles. These are so good. Brian wants to do a recipe video using these because he makes the best like vegetable lo mein and he makes it with these brown rice noodles and they are amazing. Literally the ingredients are brown rice, tapioca starch and water. Like these are really healthy and really good for like a noodle alternative. These are awesome. So we stock up on these and we use these a lot. I picked up the Earth Fair Mushroom Rice Burger. I'm really curious to try this. This looks really good. There's nothing in these like milk, egg, anything like that. Um, basically it looks like it's just vegetables and rice. And I don't know, they looked interesting and I'm always like, I'm always up to try like burger type things because in the summer we like to grill and we just put in a pool and like grill outside. If you follow me on Snapchat, you've seen it. And Brian always jokes, he's like, why did I just like build this like grill like into our kitchen? He's like, what are we gonna do? Like grill vegetables all the time? So something like this is gonna be really good. I feel like just to throw on the grill and you know, just be like a healthy alternative to a burger. So these mushroom rice burgers, I will have to try out. I'll let you guys know. I got a silk almond milk. Like I told you guys in my recipe video, I'm trying so hard hard to get my kids to drink like my oldest son drinks this like no problem at all but my youngest is he loves milk so much and he drinks so much milk so after like doing some research and just learning exactly just more about milk and stuff I kind of want to switch him over to a healthier milk so I'm trying to get him to drink something like this and he really likes the chocolate but he's still even with the chocolate he'll still be like mom can I have regular milk so I am really, really trying to push like this type of milk and just like 
trying to change his taste buds a little bit. So this, I like this. This vanilla and the chocolate one are amazing. Like so, so good. So if you guys have any like ideas of other milks that like a kid might like, let me know. Like other milks that's not like milk. You know, I know they have like cashew milk and coconut milk and all those things, but I don't think he'll like the coconut milk one. So if you guys have any other ideas of what maybe a kid would like, let me know. But so far, this one I've tasted and it's really good. All right, we just got some chips because who can live without chips? So we got some of these, um, toss like these are tortilla strip chips because Brian and my youngest son, Colson, like my youngest son, Colson, will like live on chips and salsa. Like, he loves chips and salsa. So picked up some of these for him as well as these uh, chips because we all eat chips in this house. If these are the avocado oil sea salt chips and they're like just healthier, they're just made healthier than normal chips, but they are like amazing. So got some of those. We got a bunch of bananas because we go through so much bananas here. I eat a banana every morning. Brian eats a banana every morning. My kids will eat at least like one banana a day. Sometimes they will eat like multiple bananas a day. They're, I call them like little monkeys. So stock up on bananas, we always eat these. And then I also picked up some almond butter. I love almond butter just as an alternative to peanut butter. There's nothing wrong with peanut butter. I eat peanut butter all the time too, but almond butter is really good if you haven't tried it. Just like, just like it's the same thing, but made with almonds, but it's really tasty. So I really like this and I will put almond butter on like a rice cake or something like in the afternoon for a snack and it's yummy. All right, so this is what Brian uses. This is the liquid aminos. It's a natural soy sauce alternative. This is what he uses when he makes those rice noodles. Um, he makes those into like a vegetable lo mein. We use this instead of actual soy sauce. This is way, way healthier and it tastes exactly like soy sauce. So this is really good. It's by the brand Bragg's. So check this one out because it's really good. If you make like lo mein or any type of like stir fry, use that. All right, we got a big thing of strawberries. I also got a bunch of red potatoes because I will cook these a lot with just different dinners. I will also just bake these and throw these in the oven until they're like really brown and like crispy and they're so good. So we eat a lot of potatoes. And then I got some tomatoes because again, I put these in a lot of different recipes and my son will literally take, my oldest son Ryan will literally take a tomato and eat it like an apple. So we always have lots of tomatoes. Just got some cereal for my kids because I feel like these are like healthier cereals, non-GMO, organic, no artificial colors or flavors. Um, when they eat cereal, I just always make sure it's like a healthier cereal. So they like always beg me for like, you know, like, like what is it, Lucky Charms? And I'm like, no. So we just had to, you know, more organic type of cereal and it's a little bit better. All right, we got a bunch of mushrooms because as you saw in my recipe video, I use mushrooms a ton. And these are just like mushrooms that I can slice up and I throw in a lot of different recipes. These are those portobello caps and me and Brian are going to try to make these into burgers. We actually like when we first started like doing the vegetarian and vegan thing, we just, just kind of like grilled these up and put them in a bun and we're like, eh, it's not that good. Even though we always hear that people like make these like portobello mushrooms into like amazing burgers. So now that we kind of like know what we're doing a little bit more, we're going to like marinate them and like season them and just like, you know, I feel like that would be a lot better than just taking this and throwing it on the grill and then throwing it on a bun. So we're gonna try that again. But yeah, mushrooms are definitely like, they're just like a kind of like a meat alternative too. Like they're like meaty. So you can use these in place of a lot of different like meats and they taste really good. I got this huge thing of Brussels sprouts because I love Brussels sprouts. And these are like the biggest ones I've ever seen. Like, look at that, like they're huge. They look like little like, lettuce heads but these are really good if you just bake them again and like kind of just roast them in the oven they're so yummy and then i'm just pulling out some more fruit because we literally live on fruit in this house blueberries we always go through a ton and raspberries we live on raspberries too like my kids will eat like one of these a day so we go through a lot of fruit and then another thing of mushrooms all right so pulling out the last things here these are kind of like my little snack bars these are those chia bars that I showed you guys in a favorites video, I believe. They are so yummy, so good for you. Just a quick little grab and go kind of snack, so good. And then recently I started eating these, which are these, um, hold on, let me put some of these down here, which are these Laura bars. And it's a fruit and nut bar, but it is dairy-free, soy-free, vegan, gluten-free. They are so good. Like, these are actually really good because it's all natural ingredients. Um, let me just, all, all this is, the ingredients are dates, peanuts, and sea salt. So it's like 
very simple, just very healthy. It will give you, you know, a boost of energy because it's like those healthy type of ingredients, but it's not like bad for you. So these Laura bars, they have like a million different flavors. They're really good. And then this I want to try because I haven't tried this one yet. This one is the Vega one. It's a vegan all-in-one meal bar. I'm gonna try this. Again, this is, um, let's see, what's in this? So in this one, it's basically sprouted whole grain brown rice. Um, let's see, what else? I mean, this one has a bunch of ingredients, but it's like all natural. I mean, it looks good. It's got alfalfa grass, spinach, broccoli, kale, berries, grape seed, buckwheat, chia seeds, hemp seeds. I mean, this has a lot of different stuff in it, but this could be a good choice just because like when you are so busy and sometimes you just don't have time to like grab lunch or something, something like this is good. I don't eat these kind of things like every day because I'd rather eat, you know, actual natural foods, but on days where you're super busy, you know, something like this is good. So if you guys have tried these Vega One Bars, let me know, but I'm super curious about these. So I'll let you know. All right, that is everything. That is my grocery store shopping for probably the next two days. When you live with all boys, I swear, we go through so much food in this house. So yeah, so that's everything that I will be cooking and making for the next couple days. So let me know if you guys like this type of video and you want more recipe videos. Like I said, Brian and I definitely want to do that healthy like lo mein with that brown rice and that soy sauce alternative. We definitely want to do that video next too because it's so good. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did and I will see you next time. Bye.